Hello all, in continuation to the series about what's new in 2023 release wave 2, today we'll talk about how to disable data analysis mode in Business Central. Now, there might be some questions, what is data analysis mode and why I need to disable it? So, we'll go a little bit slow, I'll not get into details of it, but I'll just walk you through around it. So, before, if you don't know about data analysis mode or data analysis mode in Business Central, I would highly encourage you to go to this playlist, which is called Reports, and use this video called Unravel the Secrets to Mastering Dynamics 365 Data Analysis. How cool the title is, right? So I'll add the link in the on your panel there. So just click somewhere here if you're watching it, and you'll be practically navigated to this video. Understand what it is, and then you can surely enjoy this one. All right. So let's understand what has changed in this release. So let's talk about the enhancement. The first one is in the previous release, it was just added into the page, the list pages to be very specific. In this release, Microsoft have extended it. That will also be able to use analyze mode into query objects. And as per Microsoft release notes with query object, it makes sense to make it available in all the existing query that Microsoft have provided. But you can also uh, disable it if you don't want it on certain pages or queries. So let's see what it is and how you do it. So there are two ways to disable an analysis mode. And before we get into it, let's get into Business Central and try to understand it. So I already have a page called SDH Demo Data. Okay, here it is. What you see on the top of your screen on here is a button called analyze which can be turned on which completely changes it into a pivot table mode like in microsoft excel or you can disable it now this is available throughout the application on list pages at least till bc22 other than some uh, complex uh, list pages but more or less it was available in most of the pages any user can automatically come here and do certain things. And what you can do here, as I said, watch the previous video. But Microsoft understood a need that there might be situation where when you're building a custom entity, you would like to define, can a user analyze this or not? So now from a developer perspective or from a partner perspective who's building the customization, let's understand how an AL developer can turn off the data analysis mode on the pages object right for that i have this page which we were seeing not this one exactly this one a list page so if i don't want users to analyze the data that is available on this page what i can do is welcome the new property and that property is called analysis mode enabled by default the value of this property is set to be true so if you don't define it users will be able to analyze the data by default. But if you don't want to, then you can set it to false. Once you set it to false and you publish your extension, which I'm going to do now, what will happen is the analysis mode button from that particular screen, just from that screen will be removed or from that page will be removed and user will not be able to analyze the data on that particular page. So that's the first part of the equation. There is other changes or other options to handle it. So as a developer, as an ISV partner who is building an app, and if you think on this particular list page, it doesn't make sense user to analyze the data, at the design time, you can define that the analysis mode on this particular page is disabled. And as soon as you do that, the user will not see the analyze button over here. Great. Second thing, Second question, which is very common at this point, can I change the behavior on the base Microsoft objects or any other objects which I don't own using a page extension? And the answer of that question is no. So if you try to set that property, I should not be doing on the card page, but just for the demo, if you try to uh, do the analysis mode, you will not see that property. And even if you force it, write it down here it's a run time uh, it's a compile time error so you'll not be able to modify the uh, analysis mode enable property 
by using page extension. So I hope that part is clear. A developer can define it on the new pages, but he or she cannot change it on the existing pages from other extensions by using page extensions. Now let's come to the third part. Developer have defined whatever they wanted to define, but now what if, if an administrator defined that some user can use this wherever it is enabled by developer or the partner who has built that app and some user will not be able to use it and Microsoft have taken care of it also so from an administrative perspective what you can do you can actually go to your users or let's create a permission first I don't know if that exists or not but if you go to the permission set and let's add a new permission here and we'll call it demo this is demo and this is mode okay and now let's get into permission if you don't know about this screen what this is let me know but what I can do on this that I can exclude so if you don't understand the difference between include and exclude let me know into the comment we'll surely have a separate video talking about it here I can actually do select system as object type and then there is a new system object type added okay let's see design okay smart list designer allow data analysis mode now what I'm doing is I'm setting an exclude of a property called allow data analysis mode so this property or this permission will not allow someone to have access to this particular property so what I'm going to do now is I'm going back into my users and I'm hoping that I will be able to remove it hopefully but let's go in let's pick my user and let's add that property or add that permission set here so what I'll do is I'll change the scope and I'll say tenant and I'll add that property to my user as soon as I have added that property now system understand as I refresh this that what I'll be able to do and what I'll not able to do so now you can either have an include property in a permission set for the system permission of objects 9640 if I remember that correctly and then that any user whom you assign that permission will be able to use the analyze property or if you disable it like I just did exclude then they will not be able to and maybe because I'm super I've given that permission but it should not happen like that because I have set it to exclude okay I think I have set it to exclude permission and I have set exclude for this and I don't have to set anything else but hmm okay but I hope you get the point right there are two ways that you can control it and there's one major enhancement to it the major enhancement is that it gets into uh, it's now also part of analyze is also part of the query object not just the list pages the the enhancement part too is that AL developer can turn it on or off based on when they are building the pages right they can set that property the property is called analysis mode enabled remember developers cannot change the analysis mode property on other extension by using page extension that's the third part of it the fourth and the last part is the system administrator or the super users in the system can now control it the who can use the analysis mode and which user cannot just based on a permission set with the permission uh, set uh, referring to an object of type system and object ID as 9640 so there are multiple ways to control who can use the analysis mode who cannot use the analysis mode you have given the power as a partner to define it based on your app the pages that you're writing or the queries that you're writing you have given the power as a system administrator to decide who can use it and who cannot use it in your organization so let me know into the comments is that a great enhancement to limit or to restrict the analysis mode based on the partner decision 
or based on the system administrator decision. And if you don't know about analysis mode, watch the video as happened earlier and make sure that you understand what I'm talking about. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you think other developers and system users or administrators should know about it, do share this on your social media. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you sooner than later with the next video in what's new in 2023 release wave 2. Till then, have a great day and I'll see you next time.